Okay, this not this is not gonna be pretty, all right? I see here people writing all sorts of nonsense about the Taylor uh, Lopez fight. <laughs> yeah, you know, I said it before. That's one of the reasons why I don't like the boxing community so much because now people are have become so lousy to judge fights and score them all they see is who landed the biggest punches right but that's not how it's judged all right <laughs> let's see let's face the facts Teofimo Lopez in my eyes lost that fight he didn't deserve to win and I don't care if anybody else agrees with me. Fuck that shit. I don't care. I don't care, alright? Assholes. <laughs> Fuck you. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, and we, uh, I mean, how can you say that, uh, like, Taylor got outclassed? And a guy who just kept coming and coming and landing punches and not working Lopez. I mean,. <laughs> I don't know which fight we I were we all watching the same fucking fight, man. I don't know really. It seems that uh, Taylor is just has become really unpopular, had become an unpopular champion. So everybody wanted to see him lose, and now that he did lose, everybody's like, "Oh yeah, he got smashed, he got outclassed." And such bullshit, man. That's bullshit. He, only the last two rounds was he was he really hurt, right? And uh, he seemed to slow down, yeah, of course, because he was keeping a high pace for the first ten rounds. When it comes to Teofimo, I gave him round six, nine, eleven, twelve. I don't know about round three; that was a close one, a swing round. So maybe if I gave him that one. Also, that's all I could, I can give him or right, five rounds. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I I really don't see. I mean, the first round maybe was also kind of kind of close, but uh, yeah, that's why I would have been alright if they scored the draw. I would have been alright because yeah, maybe you maybe you can make a case for a draw, maybe. But a, a win for Lopez and a clear one as they had it. two of the judges, I believe, had it 117, 111. What the fuck was that? That's just nonsense. No way he won nine rounds. Come on. To win that many rounds, you have to do more, far more than he did. Like, he didn't do. Come on. In the f rounds four, five, uh, seven, yeah. Eight, he just didn't do enough, right? And the second round also, first round was you know, but the second also. So you know those rounds, uh, he just what he did, he would land of, he would wait until the end and then land a couple of, you know, clean punches. And uh, so the problem was that Taylor simply. He wasn't able to really land enough big punches on him, all right? That's true. But it doesn't mean he didn't outland him altogether, people. So that's how you win rounds, by outlanding your opponent, not just by landing the biggest punch in that round, the hardest one, right? And, uh, I mean, Calfino Lopez himself didn't really land many really hard, clean shots until the last two rounds really actually in round nine also he had some yeah i guess a couple of good ones but uh yeah <laughs> that's why i hate talking boxing to people today you know i think too honestly some of these people who follow them are fucking morons all right fucking morons i hate their guts all right <laughs> Because they make me so fucking angry about this saying that uh, oh this guy got school because that's how they wanted to be in their fucking mind right and then they make it out to be so in reality even though it isn't 
it's wishful thinking that's what it is right so no 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 i don't think Teofim Lopez deserved that victory not at all he didn't do anywhere near enough to win that fight all right so you know to all of you who write shit <laughs> Well, to all of you who just, I know it's it's just, you know, biased, you know, because Taylor has been a champion for a long time. Uh, he's, you know, he's from Scotland, uh, not really a boxing nation, you might argue. All that shit, you know. He is, he's a legal target because of all that, you know. He's neither a, a Mexican nor a black guy, you know. He's, he's from the United States, so it's, you know. He's a legal target because of all that, I guess. <laughs> I mean, even he, for some reason, I, I hear that he admitted that uh, he was supposedly admitted. But <laughs> I think he was simply disappointed in, I guess, that he didn't really win. I mean, win. He was disappointed maybe that he didn't close strong enough. And I don't know. I can, I'm not a mind reader, but no, I don't think, I mean, a fighter who has been in a fight is not really that able to uh, judge whether he really won or not. I mean, in a close fight, in any kind of closer fight, you know, because you know, we know that often they, they think they have won because they've done something, you know, they have won enough rounds, they've landed some good punches, and it, to them it feels like they won it. And the same thing when they get hit with some really big punches, they feel, you know, like, oh, you know, I got my ass kicked, I lost. But even though in reality, they, they did not lose, all right. So, yeah, really, but, you know, he should have gone up to 147. This was just bullshit, you know, staying here to fight, to fight that guy, that annoying guy <laughs> in a fucking you know united states i mean those judges are terrible terrible fuck them you know that's what i say bullshit